The government says it has cut the annual budget deficit, which accounts for the year-on-year -year gap between revenue and expenditure, from 9.3% to 4.7%. Information Minister Kojo Ponkuma made this known at a press briefing following Cabinet's 64th meeting and retreat at Pedrasi Lodge on Sunday, a report by Selom Amenya. The meeting and retreat chaired by President Ikufado focused on examining the results of government's efforts at correcting the economic challenges that they inherited. Information Minister Kojo Ponkoma, who briefed journalists about the meetings at Pejase, noted Cabinet took cognizance of the fact that the annual budget deficit has closed significantly. In 2016, for example, it used to be somewhere around 9.3%. It's now been reduced to about 4.7% this year. And in 2020, with a legal commitment that has already been established, uh, the expectation is that we would not exceed that 5% fiscal threshold. Information Minister also touted some of the interventions put in place by the ekufuado led government to ensure economic development. They included the reduction of inflation from 15.3% to 7.5%, which he attributed to prudent policies in the real sector, prudent fiscal and prudent monetary policies. The information minister said cabinet was pleased that 16 flagship programs are being executed. The administration's free senior high school program, which is designed to ensure that every Ghanaian child, regardless of family wealth, place of birth, gender, benefits from basic education to the senior high school level is working smoothly nationwide. Planting for food and jobs program has also been largely successful. It's translated into increased food production with its attendant reduction in food inflation. He added in preparing the 2020 budget, the president has given firm directives that the fiscal stability, which has been restored, must not be compromised. The Fiscal Responsibility Act, which is the new anchor of discipline for the government of Ghana, prohibits any administration from incurring a deficit beyond 5% of GDP unless with the prior approval of parliament. Could you upon Krima observed, cabinet and the president are upbeat about ending the year on a high fiscal and economic performance and delivering a budget for 2020 which will help consolidate the gains made so far for a continued growth and prosperity agenda.